I definitely want to get a cannon here. That's where I really need it. And it's shooting right in the backs of them, so I'm not going to have nearly as much uh, stuff getting stopped by other stuff that had been previously killed. Uh, this position is actually so ideal, I think I might just look at upgrading it. Or I might want to think about upgrading these to make sure that we can shoot down the planes easily. That's awesome, Bad Viking. Micro machines and D12s, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Let's crank the speed a little bit here. I think we've mostly got them on lockdown, at least for the next couple of waves. Let's slow it down here. You're going to get one final upgrade. You still have an upgrade to go. You have an upgrade. Alright. I'm going to upgrade you first because you're on the back end. You're most definitely going to be hitting planes first. You probably need the same for my main defense against aircraft. got out on the field right now is upgraded. Um, I guess the next is going to be kind of a, a front side, back side cannon right here. In case anything actually does sneak through, this will be able to pop it real easy. Looks like it's just hitting that tree every time, though, on the front end. Doing pretty well here. Briefing level 4. The heavy gun is less effective against air. So use flak instead. Flak can't aim low enough to strike ground targets. Good to know. So where's our air vent, our air current? So it snakes around the arena. See the start point again there? Nice, it was only going to show it to me the one time there. So that's pretty good coverage. Might have needed a ground turret there, but that's fine. See a heavy gun here. I'm gonna put a heavy gun here. Probably end up putting a cannon there. Probably another heavy gun here. It's kind of a split duty weapon. 
Let's see how this configuration works. Yeah, I might have made things a little deficient putting the uh, flak in that major choke point there. I might need to restart this one. Especially because we're probably not even going to see any planes for the first few rounds anyhow. They're able to handle. I'm not as worried. Probably need to get this up a little tougher. Yeah, these are most definitely not going to handle all of these threats. That definitely needs to be a different gun there. Let's uh, let's just restart the mission here, because so I want to get a better idea of the um, that air path. So they go basically through here and up around here. So. One here and one there would actually do fairly well. Elephant Ranger, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Usually the best kind of Ranger. Alright, let's get a heavy gun here. That covers a lot of the front end. That also covers a lot of the front end. And I think I want a big cannon here. It's going to be getting a lot of rear shots on stuff, so it's going to be hopefully uh, mostly unimpeded. I really don't even need a, um, a flat gun for the first little bit here, so I'll just hold off. BAM! I suppose another big cannon right here probably would help. That's going to cover a lot of the ground game. I'm probably going to need to save up a little bit to uh, prepare for air. Yep. I see the first one's going to be coming up here pretty soon. Hopefully I can get my turret up in time. Bet you shot the food. <laughs> nice one right now. Oh, flat getting caught by those trees there. Good to know. Ooh. That rips planes up. Damn. Damn. All right. I think we're in kind of good shape here. I'm going to get this up a couple of levels here. significant damage in here.
take him down even faster. Yeah, those heavy armored things are definitely going to uh, be an issue here. Um, might not have made my, my ground game tough enough to handle them. Which would be a bad thing, but it looks like they're slowly getting eaten away. That cannon should do some pretty good work on them. Front one, almost. Ooh, that's going to be definitely upgrading this one. Maybe I have to set down a fresh one right here. Those three are going to get through, aren't they? That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Alright. So I'm not worried about those planes at all. This probably needs to be upgraded. That uh, probably needs to be upgraded. So it is only the only way I really have front end finishing here, and I don't know if it's going to be powerful enough for that. Now, probably needed more ground cannons because the um, the flak basically the air for me. I don't know that any real air has gotten past this flat gun. That any shots have really gone on aircraft aside from the uh, the flak. Hopefully that'll be doing enough damage to finish off this last grouping. This is the final wave. So I might as well spend up. There we go. Ooh, I think I lose. Gonna be close. No, I think they win. Close. <laughs> what do you folks think? Do you want me to replay this one or just move on to the next one? Because I could probably redo this one better, but I bet you probably want to see the next level.
Oh no, me being silly and drinking coffee and making sure you folks can't hear it, but then I forget to mute them or unmute afterward. So yeah, I'm basically looking to just kind of keep the area locked down with the uh, turrets here. I'm pretty sure one upgraded flak is going to be able to handle all of the birds initially, so that should pretty much cover all of my air threats and I can focus on the ground game for the rest of it. Which is mostly, I guess, looking to get that artillery down here.
upgrade my direct fire weapons. I guess I can give this an upgrade. Let's see if one flat can handle. Oh wow, those things are air tanks. But it handled. One plane gets through. That's it. I'll take that. <sighs> fun stuff. What a fun game. I'm excited to get into more of that in the evening show. That's definitely a very fun game. Pretty good solid tower defense. Yada 44. Yada 44. <laughs> Yada, ten seconds. Weezu. Regular winner around these parts. Okay. Saito. Saito GR. I know you were here earlier. There you are. Congrats, and our final rule for this game Solo Hut. Bunch of regulars winning around here. That's awesome. I'm glad to see people being uh, rewarded for their patience and dedication. And the phone ringing. Okay. And that's definitely a fun game. I mean, that's... <laughs> it's I, I don't know what the floor is jelly is going to be like, but chances are, I'm guessing, you folks are going to be holding on to what you got here. The Floor is Jelly could be a completely crazy, amazing game, though. We'll see. That is next. Is that under the... No, I think that's just under Floor is Jelly, comma, the... Like a library book. Yes. The Floor is Jelly!
Yeah, Kappa, you um you only get a minute to respond. Yeah, Yada did I say Kappa? I, I meant Yada. <laughs> did I say Kappa or did I say Yada? Now that's gonna bug me. <laughs> Cause I saw Kappa and I'm not sure which one I said. <laughs> Well, which one was it, folks? What would I say? <laughs> Whoops. Alright, I'll be back in just a sec. Let me get the game fired up and then, uh... <laughs> Whoops. The floor is jelly! Hmm. There's... No audio here. Well then, Enjoy the title screen. I'll be back in just a second. Look, Yada, I have a little timer when somebody wins, and the moment that it hits 1 colon 0 0, I press the reroll button. Otherwise, we'd be taking forever to do some of these giveaways. Two minutes to confirm and then go on to the next person? My goodness. I'd <laughs> we don't have that kind of time to wait. we got to keep on rolling. So, this is how The Floor is Jelly begins. This is, of course, the Who's Gaming Now early show. And I have no idea what is going on. Okay. So, I need to fight through the jelly. Yet, oh, you know what? Hold on a second, everybody. I, I worry that this game might affect folks who are affected by photosensitivity, so I'm going to put that warning down there at the bottom. Um, oh, that's right. It's keyboard only, I think. Oh, this is a cute game. It's all squishy. You can side jump off of stuff, huh? <laughs> Squ 
squishy. <laughs> Hey, what up, frog? Of course, you can just side jump up, too. Well, this is a cute game. It's very pleasant. I'm still going to leave the photosensitivity warning up because that enter sequence, and we don't know what else. Like a flea on jellies? Yeah, something like that. This is your flea. This is your flea on jellies. Any questions? Puzzles. That's a sneaky one. Whoops. 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 Uh, White Bandit, when I can, I use a controller, however, this one doesn't appear to work. So maybe if I go direct input, I have it configured. Yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, doesn't quite work with direct input. I'll just switch it back over. Uh. Oh no. The joystick broke it. Uh, escape doesn't work. There we go. Now it is recognizing the gamepad. There we go. It's this, uh, this little $30 chunk. Really easy to find. I like that echo. It's all squishy. Oh. 
two exits. Well, how do you like that? Some diverging pathways. Well, that was quick. I gotta get Carl Mundo to try this. The uh, going into the water and back—that's very, uh, very similar to what we see in the Land of Ice. Oh, yeah! Hey, look at that! Ah, I bet Carl would love this game. Well, this isn't a set of puzzles that's going to cause me any trouble. It is squishy bouncy awesome. Yeah, literally having played the land of IS just makes this this part real easy because these are pretty much the kind of puzzles that you see in that game. So yeah, I think I'm probably Oops. Close. Indeed, be wolves, it is jelly time. Then use the momentum going down through here to get to here. Which allows you then to jump to here. the underwater wall jump. <sighs> now, that one, that's going to be a little interesting. need to get to the other side initially. Oh yeah, I think I see how I do this. Whoops! I just gotta go down and come back up there. Or there's potentially another way I can see to do it. Actually, it would work this way too. Basically, 
what I'm trying to do here is get myself a hell of a boost to get up to here but that still doesn't get me all the way in oh I can just jump it that works These are great puzzles. I really like this game. Other than the little photosensitivity potential issue at the beginning of the game, I think it's quite lovely. So that gets us to the outside, and that launches us all the way up. <laughs> Thanks, Eagle Falcon. Whoops. No idea where the exit for this place is. here somewhere? No? Ah. I would wager we're out there somewhere. Yes, indeed. Oh. Diverging pathways, huh? That just takes us into more of this area. Oh, I see. So I gotta climb. Climb. And go in. <laughs> nice one, White Bandit. Kind of feels like I'm going the wrong way here. Oh, I see. So I have to go towards the glowing doors to continue unlocking. Oh, that's a good, um, I would say, Metroidvania kind of aspect, if you could call it that. 
the whole um, having to go back through areas that you already travel. I mean, I guess it's not really. It's just kind of open world traveliness. Not even open world. But still, there's actually a sense that there's, you know, places you have to kind of go through and stuff. Hey, Noodle Cat, how's it going? If you folks aren't already following Noodle Cat, you should be, because she is the newest person to join the WGN team and broadcasts just after the morning show here for two hours of long plays. Uh, I believe we have Phoenix Rage on the lineup. Uh, Noodle Cat, if you want to confirm, kind of let, let us know what's going on here, because I'm excited to see what you're getting after. See, is this a death pit here? Yeah, it's a death pit. Whoops. I think I just need to super bounce this one. Whoops! Interesting. I wonder what that does. Awesome. Phoenix Rage is pretty cool. Oh, this is a neat little area here. Alright, let's move up to the next area here. Woohoo! Space! Oh. I thought it was going to take us to space. That would have been, like, super awesome. But this game doesn't need low gravity to be awesome. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Small point between the past and future. Terminal is active, 30 remain. <laughs> Lovely. What a nice little thing to find. I wonder if there really are 30 consoles or if they're just uh, teasing us. Squish!
All right, that gets us in here. I see where I got to go. Whoops. And then settle. And then grab this one. Whoops. Charged that up most of the way. I wonder what I missed. Was it one of the other doors in here? Yeah. Alright, slide down there, jump over to here, and get to the store. Whoops! Let's go to the tricky door first. Nope. I was hoping there'd be water there. Whoops. I could see speedrunners having a lovely time with this. No, this is definitely one I've collected already. Squish. Whoops. There we go. Whoops. Do I still have the cloud here? Yes, I do. And that's all I needed to get here, I believe. There's a cloud I still didn't get. There we go. Alright. Man, I guess it's... Back this way where I need to be going then, huh? There we go. And that fills that in and takes me to the next portal. Alright. Okay. Continue along here. Ah, next zone. Or back to the hub zone.
Okay. So there's still a third pathway I have not yet completed, and I need to locate. Ah, okay. Then this takes us along that path. I think that area has already been completed, though. Nope. Nope, this is it. Ooh, pretty. Oops. Oh, that's awfully nice. Oh, that's funny. You know, I can get up there this way. Here we go. Easy enough. Those corners are a little too squishy sometimes. You uh, end up getting projected forward when you don't mean to be. Whoops. There we go. That one wasn't going to work, right? Yeah, that's not going to work. There we go. I 
Hey, another console. Still the same stuff as last time. So, I guess that's one of the uh, kind of soft goals of the game is to locate all of the consoles. Let me make sure it gave me credit for it. I don't think progress resets when you go off the wrong way, so probably not too big of a deal. There we go. It is very specific to hit that. You gotta hit it just in the middle. Just gotta bounce up. Those things definitely need a larger radius to them. They are way too particular to try to hit such a small little spot with such a small little character when you're moving so fast.
that well. Oh, bad Viking, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, White Bandit, I have played Don't Starve. It's pretty fun. Definitely a game I could get into. Alright, let's continue here. Squish. Squish. Alright, time for some discovery. What's outside of here? Nothing. How about... I just want to see if there's something above it there, but I guess it doesn't want me to. Nah, screw it. I go where I want to go. I guess it's got a blocker up there or something. Nope. No, it doesn't. Here's a console. No hints whatsoever, indeed. I mean, they could even leverage another one off of this if they wanted. I'm just going to fall off the right side, too, just to be sure. and boops one more time and then be satisfied that I've accessed it and move on. Oh, that was weird. Now, there could potentially be another secret over here. Nope. This part's a little too squishy. This part's a little too squishy. And this part's a little too squishy. This part's a little too squishy.
That's not going to be fun to have to go back through. <laughs> Anything down here? Nope. complete everything there? Doesn't seem like it, but maybe we did. Well, let's, I guess, head back to the big door and see if it's open. Say, where was that big door anyway? Was that up here? <laughs> 